Yeah, keep talking smack, Brian. I'll put you all in the video. I'm gonna expose you on the ground. That that is our best buddy, and he's talking schmack and schmack about me. Uh -oh. Hi. Um. <laughs> What's up, guys? I am taking over Kashat's video for today. So, as you guys saw, Kashat is going to be running pro am for the 2024 season and 2025 season. Future seasons are to be determined, but as you guys know. We gotta get the car ready. There's a couple of things that has to be done to it. So, we're here at Whoops today. Kashad is working very hard to support our family, so that's why he's not here, and that's why I'm taking over. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on today. So I'm starting out with this little board over here. Pro-Am event to do on car. Intrusion bars. Apparently when people build cages, they don't put intrusion bars in them, and that's a whole nother topic for a different day, but there's no intrusion bars, okay? We got a kill switch. We got to move it to the front. Currently, his kill switch is in the rear. There's a kill switch in the center, but we got to move it to the front driver's side, so that's one of the things that has to get done. We had more of a list here, but it was like halo seat, a nut and bolt check, but all of this got done. The last thing to do is intrusion bars, kill switch, alignment, order tires, which we haven't done yet, and then the coolant overflow, and that's it. So let's go over and see what he's done. So here we are. Josh is working on intrusion bars. This right now does not pass tech, okay? Whether you're competing or not, make sure they do it right. A couple things that they did on it was fix the body kit, made it sit a little bit nicer because one of the tech rules is that you have to have all the body panels on before the race. It doesn't matter if they come off, just it has to be all secured and on. They also did a little bit of trimming on the fiberglass and that's why the car's a little bit dirty, don't mind that. Um, they also fixed the hood because this car has been fucking hit, excuse me, this car has been hit so many times. Um, they fixed the bumper. Nut and bolt check the car. There's Josh. And then a very important thing that this car was doing. The lines on the wastegate would pop off all the time. And so would the lines, vacuum lines to the ECU. So they changed it to uh, AN lines, right? They're all AN or are they something different? They're still still going, but it's high grade covered tech. And we rewrapped it down the pipe where the silicone was melting. Because whenever Camel would drive, um, he'd be over boosting the car and we've had this problem almost every single event we've ever been to. It happened at 4th of July, it happened at the Monster um, a Demolition Derby that we did in the last video. Uh, it happened, it's just, it's one of those things, it's happened a lot. And we can't have that happen in the middle of competition, so that's one of the things I got fixed. This is a message for Yeti. If you're not Yeti, please skip this video. Hey Yeti, uh, uh, Josh really likes your products, and this man works on, on this car a lot, so let's keep him happy. He said it'd be cool to guys, have you guys as sponsor, so Yeti, if you're watching this, even though we're, you're probably never going to watch this, please sponsor us, or Josh, just sponsor him. Just sponsor him. He, he, he wants it. He really needs it in his life. He's a very sad man. Bars didn't get done. It was a Juku, right? Yeah, it's an Juku. It's a it's a really old Juku cage, but the newer tags for the cage are different than what the cage came with, because the intrusion bars for these are so much shorter that they would only go from about there down to where it meets. But we gotta get the bar going from up there down, like the picture shows. So. He's gonna have to make new bars. Not that big of a deal, but just a little extra work. No matter how hard you try. That look good. <laughs> big old Kopsky. I 
burned my foot. I'm also not wearing the right attire for a shop, oh, but. but it's fine. It's my off day. What are we doing over here? Uh, hopefully seeing if this valve body will work in the scene of Dan. Oh, it's about to make a fucking mess. Yep. Anybody want some VSKS? They're for sale. By Tim. What I crush? Ew. You want to smack the filter? This is not. This is the Q45. Oh yeah, I'm an idiot. This is the good. This is the good one. I'm not paying. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Josh, I'm over here like. Look at now, in and out. In and out, anybody? Like a freaking glove. <laughs> Back to the transmission problem. He thought that the tranny was blown, but the filter was smashed, and then that that's one of the wires for the higher gears, and apparently it wasn't switching into fourth gear, which that'll do it. So. They're not swapping the transmission anymore. They're just gonna swap over a new filter, new pan, and then fix that wire. Just gonna send it like that. I need some light. I need light in here. <laughs> Insert. Phone clip because I did not have the camera, but that almost ended badly. No, it was fine. No, it was fine. Kick it, kick it. Yeah, how the fuck am I gonna do that with my freaking really chancla? Proper footwear in the shop. Well, you need to not have flammable stuff next to welding materials. Who the heck? I mean, the awesome thing is a giant thing of acetone sitting right next to us. Yeah, can you? That's what I thought. Well, I can talk fire for I'm going to put this over here and just ask for it because. My feet. Once I did. Wow. So pretty. We got intrusion bars. One side. That's crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, you see how bent my car was now. That's crazy. Yeah. It wouldn't come. I mean, it wouldn't come out with the cage anyway. But as soon as we cut it, it was like. <laughs> That's 13 years of straight abuse on this car, nonstop. He wants to maybe redo them all because that could be why. It's he wants to redo them all because he thinks that might be part of the starting issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, fuck all the wire and just the yeah, just load. the relay. Oh, sorry, I think yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, say so all, say sorry to mom right now. Freak all. I just I think I might yeah I might need to do that because I had it, bro. I had a video where like I'll just shake my relay and it'll just it'll die. Yeah, yeah we need to get rid of that. Fucking spaghetti western. <laughs> on the list. Once after we get back, no, your car should be featured with Clint Eastwood. Spaghetti westerns. I don't like his attitude right now. <laughs> it is now 11:37. I have four minutes worth of storage left for video, so. It's only 11:37. No, sorry. <laughs> 1:37. <laughs> I was all excited. I was like, oh, it's not even fucking midnight yet. <laughs> no, it's definitely past midnight. Okay. <laughs> all right, this side's done. I love it up. It's got that side. He just cut and notched that one, so he has to make the top one. And then tomorrow, the barlet goes from here to there. So. I'll tell us for free, but <laughs> I'm being forced to wear real shoes tomorrow. You're saying no toes for free. Yeah. In the last three minutes, I would like to say a huge thank you in behalf of Krishad because even though he doesn't say it, he is very thankful for everybody watching it. And I only know that because in the last week, 
he has come home super excited about gaining 17 followers <laughs> in the last week and that's a lot for him at least so thank you guys I'll say it for him since I'm narrating this video say thank you to Josh for being huge help and staying up till 2 a.m. to <laughs> get the car ready for competition it's always how it is and thank you to my mental health for being somewhat okay with this so Catch you guys in the next video.